Hi friends, I'm Abhilash. I'm flagging off this YouTube channel with a video lecture series on basic topology. I think that anyone with a sufficient background in knife set theory will be easily able to follow what I'll be talking about. I'll be uploading a series of lectures starting right from the basics of topology. And in this particular lesson, I'll be giving you a brief introduction or a general overview on what topology is all about. So without further ado, let's jump straight into our topic. So, topology. The word topology is derived from two Greek words, namely topos and logos. Topos means place or surface, logos means study. So the word topology literally means study surfaces. For the wider sense, it's all about a study of mathematical spaces. Mathematical spaces. Now, the policy is mainly concerned with something. Right. What is it concerned with? It's mainly concerned with mainly concerned with certain properties of a geometric object. Uh, for example, like a, a rectangle or a, a square or a circle or a, even a surface, right? It's, uh, so it's mainly concerned with certain properties. Certain properties of what? A geometric object. A geometric object. What kind of properties? Those properties which are preserved under are preserved under certain continuous continuous deformations continuous deformations continuous deformations like what for example like uh, bending twisting right Crumpling, etc. But not gluing or tearing, etc. But not gluing or tearing. Why? Since they are discontinuous deformations, right? They are discontinuous. So we have what are uh, these certain properties of uh, some uh, certain properties of a geometric object that are preserved under continuous deformations. And in topology, these deformations appear in two forms. Deformations appear as either uh, homeomorphisms. or homotopies homotopy right. so uh, but, uh, we only uh, come across what these are like in subsequent lectures so right now I'm only giving you a brief idea about what topology is all about so it's all about uh, certain properties of a geometric object which are preserved under certain continuous transformations and uh, these continuous uh, transformations or uh, deformations, uh, they appear as um, homeomorphisms and homotopy in topology.
So I mentioned that uh, topology is mainly concerned with certain properties that are uh, preserved under these uh, above mentioned uh, deformations, right? Now, such a property which is uh, preserved or which is which remains invariant under these deformations are known as topological properties. So, topological property. It's not a formal definition or anything. I'm just giving you a brief idea, right? A, a basic idea of what uh, topology is all about. So, so property that remains invariant under deformations, right? Those are uh, topological properties. For example, you have uh, properties like uh, the dimension, right? Example, dimension. What is a dimension? What uh, what distinguishes a line from a surface, right? That's a, a dimension, right? It is, it's not a rigorous definition, but I'm giving you an idea, right? So dimension. Then we have a concept like uh, a concept like uh, connectedness. And compactness, etc. These are all examples of properties, uh, examples of topological properties. Okay. So we'll be uh, looking into what, what these are in subsequent lectures. Don't worry. So, and, uh, but we also. We, I have to look into what are known as topological spaces, right? I, I, I mentioned something about spaces, right, in the beginning, mathematical spaces. Now, that's what topology is all about, mathematical spaces, right? So, a topological space What is a topological space? Simply put, a topological space is a set, an abstract set endowed with a certain, uh, a certain structure known as a topology set endowed with a certain structure known as a topology right this is what a, top a topological space is and now this structure, right, this uh, structure known as topology, what does it do? It enables defining these uh, deformations, right? Uh, what we define, like what we uh, talked about in the beginning, some uh, deformations like crumpling, uh, twisting, etc. Right? Uh, they so the, the structure known as topology enables defining. The formation, the formation of what? The formation of what are known as subspaces. Again, we'll look into what are subspaces in subsequent lectures. So, uh, this is what uh, topological space is all about. A set endowed with a certain structure known as topology, which enables uh, defining the formation of uh, subspaces and even uh, allowing certain kinds of con continuities. Allowing certain kinds of Continuities. So, what's the most basic example of a topological space? It's a it's our uh, familiar uh, Euclid space, right? Euclidean space, right? Euclidean space. Then, Euclidean spaces are a certain type of a topological space, which are known as uh, metric spaces. Euclidean space. Now, the metric space um, it defines the structure of the space uh, through something known as a metric. It's a, it's a uh, it's simply put, it's a uh, distance function. All right, this, uh, which is a kind of a metric space. And in uh, Euclidean space, the Euclidean metric, 
defines the topology of Euclidean space, right? So in this uh, chapter, in this lesson, uh, I've given you a brief introduction to what uh, topology is, uh, like uh, what uh, topology is all about, what it's what is mainly concerned with. So, um, but, uh, but then from the next lesson onwards, I'll be giving you, uh, we'll be starting off with uh, concepts like uh, the metric space, uh, you know, the Euclidean space, metric space, uh, etc. And then uh, we'll pass on to open balls and open sets. Then uh, we'll be defining what, what is known as a topology uh, and a topological uh, space. And uh, those will be rigorous mathematical definitions. So uh, thank you for watching the video.